Hi guys, it's me Swastik and this is part 3 of how to make an economy system for your Discord bot in Python. And in this video, we'll be making a shop command and you'll also be able to buy and sell items. So let's start. So the main shop will be a list of dictionaries and each dictionary will have the data for an item. And each item, so let's make a list. So each item will look like this. So a dictionary. So the name will be, for example, watch right and then the price and then so 100 coins i guess and then the description will be i don't know time so then we can simply copy this and put it inside of this um, main shop i'm just actually have something already made so this is how you'll do it now have each of these um, dictionaries separated by a comma and make sure there's no comma in the last one. So it's simply a list, right? Opening a square bracket, closing a square bracket and separating each item with a comma. And you can just change the name, price and description. And this is the main job. Now let's actually display this data. Now I just have this, which is simply client command, then shop. Let's start. Now, one thing you could also do this through a JSON file as well. And then you could just update that, but I'm just going to do it like this. So let's make the shop now. Now in shop, we will make an embed. So the embed will be discord embed. And the title will be simply shop. Now we need to loop through everything in the shop. So for item in the main shop, we'll say um, the name is the item name. Then the price will be, you just copy this because it's gonna be almost the same. So name, so the price will be the price, items price, and the description so this will be the description and description so let's now add this into a field so embed dot add field the name could be just the name and the value is going to be an f string inside will be the price let's add dollars so price and the description so let's now then we'll send it await cdx dot send embed so let's see if it works so the bot is ready now let's actually check if it works eShop and as you can see it works and you can add more items by just adding more dictionaries to this list and let's now add the buy and sell commands so i wrote all the code and if you don't want to write this you can simply go to my server and i'll post all the code there so you can copy from there and i'm just going to explain everything in this so in the buy command, we will take the item name and the amount is going to be defaulted to one. Then we open an account for them. This is a helper function. So buy this and it simply does all the calculations. And the result is set to the result of this. So it's the user, the author, then the item and then the amount. Now let's see what this actually does. Now we will start with reducing the name will be actually set to lower version. So this is just in small letters. And then the name underscore is gonna be none. So this is used for checking as a tracker. So we'll say that if um, the name will, for everything in main shop, we'll see the name is the item name. Then we lower it, we'll check. If it's equal, that means we found the item. Then the name underscore is gonna be that name and the price is just the price and then we break if this doesn't happen if we never find it it's going to remain none and we can then check 
if it's still none then we can return false and one one is our error code and we simply use this in res we say if not res zero this means res zero is false right so not false would be true then we can enter this and check here that if it is one then that means the object wasn't there and uh, let's now continue so inside we'll uh, make the cost cost is just price times the amount then the users will get the users then the balance of the user will get and we'll check if their wallet amount is less than the cost we'll return false and two um, what this does is you don't have enough money in your wallet to buy that much amount and that's it now let's if it actually if they have that much money then we can continue now this is inside of a try loop uh, try block um, we'll say index is equal to zero and this is another tracker so we'll run through everything in bag now n is just the name of that so n is the thing name item so if n is equal to the item name we'll say the old amount is the thing amount right and then we can say the new amount is going to be old amount plus amount and then the users bag index since we were using the index as a tracker as index will be increasing every time so index then amount is going to be the new amount and then t is going to be one just because it's changing it then we break and if this doesn't happen just index will be updated every time so we keep in track now then we can check if it was none right that means that this uh, wasn't found the bag you already haven't purchased it before then we can create this object it's going to be the item is going to be the item name and the amount is going to be the app uh, the amount so then the users bag we just append the, that object except um, if they don't have a bag that means they did not purchase anything we'll just make a bag for them and that'll be just the object is going to be the object and we'll just start the bag as a list of the object then we'll just dump it then we will update their bank with uh, reducing that much money then we'll just return true and worked so if it works then we'll say you just bought that and i also have a bag command which simply just opens an account for them then user equals cdx.author then we get the users we try to get their bag if they don't have a bag that means it's just an empty list we make the embed um, and it's gonna be for every item in the bag the name is just the item name this is how we write it amount is just amount then we just add a field saying name is just the name and the value is the amount and then we just send the embed as m uh, so this is our variable name so that's it in this um, code let me just run this and show how it works so let's check um, e bag i already have some watches i think yep i already bought i bought four watches and if i check my balance i have 105 coins let's try to buy something let's try to buy one watch and as you can see i bought it let's check if it updated the bag as you can see it's five now let's try to buy another one i don't think we'll be able to buy it though as you can see i don't have enough money and that's it so in this video i'll be just covering this much i couldn't cover sell in this video because i'm running out of time so in the next video i'll also be covering sell and also some other commands so if you hit the like button if you like the video obviously hit the like button and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one goodbye